Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Hello, Ivar. Drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. How can y'all go they mjölk silk? They are all skaka. If to house their knocker and all their commanding through Kaupa new skip. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Ágætlegastar krittur og litir í borginni hinn miklu. Við öfluðum á snó fjárið einu af krittum að megin kaupa tólf knarrar. Skál! Skál! Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Is there no one who will go around oh, with God, me? No. I better get this health here. Summon mount. Little, uh, little shit faced here. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. Is there no one who will go around with me? What the fuck? Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! Oh, I see. Splendid in the town. Or you the enemy town, then. This land no will never prosper will while clan battles me? clan. Alright, let's go talk to the blacksmith. I always like to explore them. Nine long nights and pain-filled days, the old father hung from the tree. In the end, pierced by a spear, he became his own sacrifice. Guna, I have something here you might like to see. A great big axe. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. 
Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Come on, Gunner. Enhanced gear. Bringing ingots to the settlement's forge will allow Gunner to enhance armor and weapons. Doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the price's upgrade limit, and may improve its appearance. Yeah. Do it. Please. So we go from fine to superior. Okay, increase the speed. Oh, and that's a new room slot. Okay. Ooh, look at that. See that gleam? As it slices through sinewed flesh. It got used to enhance the quality of a piece of gear from superior to flawless. Gunner, your settlement's blacksmith, would make great use of it. Nice. Cool. It's very neat. That should do it. Anything else? Maybe some armor. <laughs> how are you doing? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Oh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. <laughs> this guy needs to find the next one. What do you got to offer? Eh. I don't have any good shit anyways, but... Do you need anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Alright, let's see what we got here. See, bone biters really, you know, kick ass. But let's pop on. Pap sees a superior bearded axle. Let's compare it. Hi, can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Alright, let's go to... Robert. Randy. 
rations are full. I wonder if you can upgrade your pouch. Yeah, you bag probably cans. Maybe some kind of upgraded an old pillow. Rank with mold and fat. Don't bother. <sighs> Predator arrows. I don't change his appearance. The fuck? What? Oh. <laughs> I, I thought maybe you could go to a quick buy in game, but. Oh, what's this? If need be, like I'll, I'll buy extra season pass kind of shit for new story. I don't really care about items. Not a big deal. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Complete the seer solace. The seer lives in the mountains north of Fornberg. The clan is happy to see Ivor return. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure. My next challenger, I'll slay. You're a verified teacher, I'm sure you will excel. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger, I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good. But too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... I'll make a fine goblet. Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Flighting duels increases your charisma level. 
which can unlock special dialogue options in certain situations. Eivor! Good day, Alvis. You return. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Not really. Never now. mind. Got a nice deal on these. Or are you just in it uh, with the shit over here? Ah, oh, thank you. Merchants can be found in every large town. Now uh, let's. Uh... This is available for purchase. 25 bucks. It's a. Uh... Minor Ruin of Rage. That. An old pillow. I have use for this. <laughs> Made with real human hair. Thank you for selling to me. I'll sell all trinkets. Druids grind them to powder for potions, but. So I guess, do I keep this one? Is that all you need? Uh, yeah. I'm off. Be well, friend. armor This one has a thing.
auto. Ow, oh, man, I want to do this now. It's kind of cool, though, having the, the real stuff. Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan, he's Gunnar's sister's son if I have it right. Do not fire your irons yet. I will have a look around. Come back, or be branded a deserter! Do you want to be an outlaw? This is your last chance! Legs up here. <laughs> ah. I know it's not that effective hunting on horseback. But in my defense, I'm coming up here to hunt. Oh, foxes. Fox. Is that iron? Is this 
the money. More wealth. Lots of wealth over there. This is where I gotta go. Valka. Valka boo. Yeah, she lies. You know what? Even if I could kill those, I would. Those are the seers. Valka? Valak? I was picturing... Hamuram. Hamuram. Yeah, okay, this makes sense. Valka! Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin. Great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Yeah, let's figure this out. What do you brew? What do you brew? 
tell no one else. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Yeah, she's hooking him up with like LSD or something right now. <coughs> I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Aw, oh, dude. We're... We're feeling right now. You felt... We're in it. We're in it to win the championship. Harvey! Nah, nah. Harvey! Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? What is this? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. No. Sigurd! No. Save him. Save poor Sigurd. Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Valka, I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. 
I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm-hmm. Odin and the Nornir were there. I guess the Nornir was the, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. Oh. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. The wolf beckoned? Uh, I don't remember that happening. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. Oh, that cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Yeah, but Odin is God. Offerings to Valka, two chickens from Snyfried to anoint her crops, one sheep from Thora for her child's blood blessing, one goat from Dag for more skin salve. Two skill points. Big bet. Return to your settlement. Return to your settlement can be done using the <laughs> oh, I can just click on Fast travel, fast, quick times. Um, what is over here? No, let's uh, let's fucking you know, let's explore a little bit. Artifacts, shit. Let's figure this out. Let's do this thing. The horse can't jump. That would suck if that was my raven. Wait a minute. Aha. Okay, I like that you can loot on horseback. First world gamer problems. Look at that wolf fang leather. You know? 
garbage shot. <laughs> Oh, he's sliding! Wee! Look at that! That looked fun! Hey, come back! Oh man! My arrow and... <laughs> oh shit! I lost my arrow there! Dead body! Look at the corpse is having fun! Oh, and it doesn't count! I lost everything! Oh, oh, we got the arrow! So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Hey, Ivan. Wake up. Wake up. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Stay awake. They could be anywhere. Yeah, sleepwalking. Is he walking in his sleep? <laughs> Ivan. Oh, Ivan. They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Listen, Ivan. You need to wake up. See them coming. Yeah. Oh. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge. Okay. Is he going to ride the rope slide? Ivan. Ivan, let's think about this. Or more loot. Um, what? <laughs> Follow him. Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. Quick, no, I was flying through the air. In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when you are in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. Look at that. Bam. The dream walking warrior. Cool. I think a lot. Cool. Like, that's a cool skateboard. Cool. It's not like a fuckhead. Wandering off from the mission here, but I want to see what the hell's going on over here. Uh, look at that. And look at that. <laughs>
Oh shit! <laughs> Don't die, please. <laughs> That's gonna be way the fuck over wherever, but what? Is it chapter two or something? Services, no. Show me what lies ahead. Alright, so there's a town, or is that just way back? Oh no, that's... 
corn. Fuck. What's our area? Oh, I just, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. So, anyway. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take it easy. A maiden's missive. Hail, brave champions. Come find my cone. Lost in light, low world with a courageous go. Be bold of breath and blood. Do not wallow in the mud. Find me by the rushing waters and meet my fish in shining armor. A lovely little read. What say you? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be oh, around fine. here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coal. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? Cannot remain long in this ice bar. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now, I'm a champion. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flights of fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and delicate. Delicate. In the others, they are like clubs, blunt and ungainly. You are nimble, like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another, but. Am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? 
I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. Fucking right. My shoulders are tense. And my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Oh, shit, this has got adult liking. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb as a keepsake. Thank you, Gil. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Nuts, no nuts, no nothing. What? Ah. Well, I did get experience from it. And I learned a valuable lesson. Don't jump in the goddamn ocean for some gal. I'm gonna scale this fuck down.
There are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Drenger. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for the glory, for the one that is here, I raise my blade. All right. Well, that was... Lost my fucking arm. Yeah, I did see the skull. I, you know, I didn't think it would be that crazy. Corcutita, droga. Alright, so forget that cave situation. Now is that? I think that's the same thing.
Pegasus here, man. Just, just <laughs> I don't even care. It's cool that the horses mounts can just pop up. It is funny still though. Or anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing. I lack the patience for pulp. Shooting fish uh, with a book? I thought maybe you should say something different. <laughs> oh, that's the, the flute guy. Little dice never caused any harm. Radley. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. We can't negotiate with brutes. Your diplomacy is cowardice. All your talk of diplomacy is cowardice, not strategy. If you do not have the will to finish this fight, only say it. I will finish it when we are certain to win, Eivor. And that day is fast approaching. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. 
When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man, just and loyal to me. He died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Oh shit, here we go. Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his oh. ship is here! <laughs> I thought there were other we were gonna play. All rock is a game where two players do a roll on dice. Tell me, brother. <sighs> hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vod! See you good! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. What have you been worrying without me? Oh, aren't you salt cured, Vikinga? I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a star. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes, Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Oh, it's some food right there. My son, welcome home. Ah, uh, father. Stop busting his balls, right? Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Nah, nah, we're talking to Tomorrow, man. We're going to storm the front, knock up the ramparts. Through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. Yeah, okay, we sailed to Rome, then you know, Africa, done talking. past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors. And beauty the eyes must weep Make to behold. And now I have returned. 
with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Sorry, babe. Oh, what? No, no. Randvi. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Oh, shit. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right, I'll cut it up now and then we'll continue. Uh... Okay, don't, don't forget to save. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for watching and uh, get the next part up a little later today. But first, I gotta grab a nice cigar, a dram. All right.